I want to be the 100, 200 meter, and 400 meter champ. I want to be a triple threat. Why Kung Fu Kenny? I like a ring to it with my name. You know, my name is Kenny, so no brainer. It has a set of values that pertain to me humbleness, dedication, respect, and discipline, and I want to imbibe and apply these values. When you're watching professional athletes, we all look the same, we're in the same jerseys, you know, blue, red, whatever. I just wanted to stand out, and that's how Kung Fu Kenny was born. My full name is Kenneth Henry Benark. Benark is Polish. I'm not Polish, I'm actually adopted. I have one brother and two sisters. He's my twin brother and we were adopted together at the age of three and four. Have you ever watched the movie Twins? I'm the tall guy and he's the short. But when we were growing up, we were running track and cross country together for a while. I stuck with track and he was doing a little bit of cross country, but I ended up going a different path. We were born in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We were there for a few years and then we moved up to Rice Lake, Wisconsin, where a town of 8,000 people. Everybody knows each other, a lot of people have the same last names. It's a very nice community, small community. There's not many distractions out there. You're in the middle of nowhere. I had a lot of energy as a young kid, so track and field was just natural to me and when my mom decided to put me in that sport. I started in first grade. I was always the fastest kid in the class, fastest kid in the school, I felt like. For class, for sure, but every single year, left and right, I was always winning first place or second. I was more just the kid that was just having fun and just every single time I stepped on the track, I just wanted to break my PBs. I love competition because at the end of the day, if I have somebody that's just as fast or a bit faster, it's gonna make me want to be better. Did you find somebody in elementary school that you're like, I want to beat that guy? I had one teammate. I remember his name was Joshua. Dick and track and cross country was me and him, one, two. So me and him kept just pushing each other every single time we went to practice and every single time we went to meets. And I know he was sick and tired of my ass. <laughs> you know, every single week, you know, he had all these kids across the country running at the same time. So, you know, I would hit a world lead here and then all of a sudden some kid would beat my world lead. So I'm like, okay, I got to get it back. I always just found, was looking to see who was running fast and it motivated me to get better and try to just take back what I felt like with my all running fast and beating people left and right. It put a target on my back, so I knew that I couldn't be too relaxed or somebody was going to get me. It just made me want to go back to practice and just work on the things I needed to work on in order to prove my craft and just be a better athlete. Still got some things to work on, but I am definitely a better athlete from years prior. My mom could see that I loved to run a lot, so she decided to put me in cross country and track and field, and it just came natural. I continuously was good at the sport. And then by fifth grade, I was a running back with my brother, so we had a good time with that. And sixth, seventh grade, it was, it was just the same thing. Track, cross country. I let go of cross country in seventh grade. I was still in track and then eighth grade I did track and football. From then it was track and football from eighth grade to you know, senior year. Then by the time I hit college, I, I gave up football, sadly. And then it's just pursued track and field. I chose track just because every single time I was on the football field, I was always just worried about my legs. Football was my first love. I missed it a lot. I knew by then injury risk in track and football, you know, night and day. So I just decided to go with track and field route because it helped my elementary school is called Greenland Gorillas. It was in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. I was from Tulsa and then we went to Oklahoma. I was in Greenland Gorilla for a while. When I went up to Wisconsin middle school and high school name was the Warriors, Rice Lake Warriors. I was a warrior for a time. And when I went to college, school was called Indian Hills. Senior year was a crazy year. I broke three state records in the one, two, 400 meters. And winning three state titles. And as a team, we won the state championship in two and four Wisconsin. As of right now, I'm currently in. In college, I ran a 1982 in a 44.73 at Junior College Nationals. I was the second and the youngest person in history to ever do that, to run a sub 45 and a sub 20 on the same day. I turned pro in 2019 and why I left it? One reason because of money, broke college kid. So then the other reason was just being in the junior college, going through the junior college route, it's, it's hard and tough. We don't have as much as equipment wise and staff as the NCAA kids have. So it was kind of a no brainer when I got to the level to go pro at that time when I heard I could go pro, I just took it. First year pro didn't go as planned. I ended up pulling my hamstring at championships in Des Moines, Iowa. And mentally I was pretty much done with the season. And then I got a call later saying I'm in the team for Doha. So I was like, oh shit. I went into Doha with no expectations. It was just a good experience to see what the athletes at the highest level are doing. 
and to see what I had to expect for the next year. I mean, going into the pandemic, it, it actually kind of helped me. I know for a lot of people it didn't with all the momentum they had, but for me it helped because I wasn't physically and mentally right. After coming off of my injury, that helped me prepare myself for the next year. I have one continental tour win. I have four Diamond League wins. I made the U.S. team for the 4x1 relay. I also have a silver medal in the 200 meters at Tokyo Olympics. And on icing on the cake, I became a Diamond League champion. <sighs> Year four was crazy. I ended up having a toe fracture in Jan, and I had a like I had a lot going on, so. I had to work 10 times harder just to get back. I was the first sprinter in history to run 10 sub-legal 200 meter races. I have a board psychologist, personal psychologist, massage therapist, physio, chiropractor, and nutritionist. I like anime, I like to play video games, I like to do outdoor activities, I love cars, and I love to travel. I wanna be the best to ever do it, and I wanna be remembered for what I do for the sport. Look, I get what I want, don't need no genie. This right here with Tuka ain't no beanie.